Hi guys, hope you're all well today. Today I'm going to talk about my current favourites. It was going to be March favourites and then it got too late and then, you know, it happens. So it's going to be my current favourites at the minute. I'm going to start with beauty things. I have some fashion things to talk about and show you, sort of. And I have some random favourites. So, I'm going to get straight into the makeup because, of course, that's basically what most of my channel is. So, I have been, I have a particular brand that I ventured into this month, and that was the George Astor brand. And I was really surprised to find that I liked a lot of the products that I tried. So, I've got a couple to talk about that you've probably seen me use. Um, this is the George Glow Shine, and what this is. And what this is, is it's a cream highlighter uh, that's very similar to Benefit's um, High Beam. Yeah, it's a pink toned highlighter. And when it's blended out, it just creates the most gorgeous glow. And I think it's practically the same product. So this was £3. The Benefit High Beam's like 16 possibly more than that. So I just thought it was a total bargain. I was so impressed with the quality. In a similar fashion, the George Cream Blush that I picked up in number four, Pomegranate, was uh, very similar to the Max Factor Cream Blushes. And these were also half the price. Now, my Max Factor one is a little bit messed up, but the Max Factor is on this side and the George is on this side. You get a whole lot more product. You get, oh, has it got grams? 12, oh no, that's annoying, it doesn't have the weight on either of them, but it seems like you get a lot more in the George one, um, and they're very similar consistencies, the George one is a very wet formula that rubs out into a sort of powdery finish that lasts a really long time, pigmentation is great, like I said, very similar to these which are really well hyped, and I was really impressed. The, I have another thing to talk about but I can't find it, it's the George Fibre Lash Mascara, absolutely amazing, never seen anything like it um, for that price, it was £3, uh, it was one of those fibre mas mascaras that are really popular at the minute but it just does amazing things to my lashes, I can't actually explain how good it is, I would definitely pick it up and my last recommendation are these eyeshadow singles by George, this one is called delusional and I just want to show you this because this was a really big find of mine I'm going to apply this wet and dry to my hand and then I want to show you something so these are really do have a velvety texture um, and they just apply so beautifully to the eyes they this color in particular is a really gorgeous taupe uh, which is what I'm going to get onto in a minute. There's the eyeshadow applied wet and dry, so that's dry, this is wet. And the thing I wanted to talk to you about is how similar the colour is to MAC Satin Taupe. Now, the George one is a little bit more brown, but Satin Taupe is there, and there's the George one. But I want to show you how similar they are when they're applied. So, Satin Taupe is nearly exactly the same as the George one when it's applied wet. So, just getting a little bit of there, uh, yeah, and applying that wet. There's the George one wet, and there's the Mac Satin Taupe wet. I think they are practically the same. This lasts all day. Mac Satin Taupe obviously lasts all day. This is £2.50. <laughs> the Mac eyeshadows are £10. Do I need to, you know, do I need to argue that with you? It's just, they're just absolutely beautiful. I just wish they had a bigger shade range. That was my one gripe with the George stuff. But seriously, go down and see what the crack is because they are oh, just amazing. Really impressed. 
Another really cheap find that I really liked this month was the Primark Brow Pencil. So this is the PS Love Brow Pencil in Medium. It's that colour, if that gives you a little bit of a hint. And it's what I'm wearing on my brows today. So you can see I've got red hair. So I need a brow pencil that has a little bit of a red undertone, which is obviously quite easy because a lot of brow pencils do have sort of a red tinge them that most people don't like however what i love about this is it's a lovely waxy texture that like sits and stays like like you can blend it a little bit but you know the actual the actual pencil bit stays um and it lasts all day like i said i don't find that my brows have sort of worn off which can happen and the spoolie on the end is also really really good it's quite a firm one and this was it was either a pound or a pound fifty, but it was so, so worth the money. Definitely try that if you have darker hair. Um, what should I talk about next? I'll, I'll go up in price. So the next thing that I've got is the Rimmel Scandalize Waterproof Cajal Pencil in Bronze. Do a little swatch for you. It is this colour. And this is another thing that just doesn't budge. Like, it just, like... If I leave that to set for a few minutes and try to wash it off my hand, I can't. <laughs> it stays like nothing else. I've got this on the bottom of my lashes today. This will be a makeup tutorial that's coming up. And I, I'm very surprised because I have these in nude and black and they dried out something rotten. But I think it's because I left the lid off for too long and, you know, that's my own fault because these are a gel formula so they're a little bit wet. Um, the glide on stays all day 3.99 perfect but that color is really really flattering for blue eyes especially uh, next thing i want to talk about i re uh, i picked up in a haul recently if you go back and watch my haul uh york video that i did with beth um you'll see that i talked about these l'oreal God knows what the hell they're called, these things that have been advertised. Um, and I'll just swatch the shades for you. Um, this one is called Molto Mauve, which I think I've worn most. Um, this Tangerine one is called Tangerine Dream, which I also really enjoy. And this one is called Rose Symphony, which is beautiful. As you can see, I'll just show you there. They've got a little door foot applicator and they are really pigmented sort of lip gloss type products. Uh, they have a beautiful shine. They are very sticky. That's the one thing that really gripes me because it's been windy here recently. So I've had them literally all over my face. But once they're sort of like tacked down a little bit, they are really comfortable and they look so gorgeous really beautiful spring products beautiful spring colors i would try them out i think they are 8.99 each got them on three for two also on three for two that i bought just before these like about a month or so before are of course the revlon matte balms because everyone and their mother has been talking about these but for very good reason the one i am wearing today is called striking which is a red color a ready pinky red it's not like a true red but I like these colours a lot. The one I've worn most is Unapologetic, which I'm sure you'll have heard spoken about, which is this bright magenta -y coral. And the other one, which I haven't worn as much, but I still love, is called Showy, and it's a very blue-toned pink. These are just wonder products, in my opinion, because they're so comfortable to wear. They really are a balm, um, but they have a really... Like a, a satin texture, I would say, more than a matte. They do stay matte, they don't have a shine as such, but they are comfortable. And the because they're in a bullet like that, they're easy to apply. The colours are just absolutely stunning. I really want to... I, want, I really want more. I want the nude, definitely, because that looks beautiful. I think I'm going to get three more when I get paid, because I love them that much. And... I don't even know what to say. The colours are unapologetic. It's so unusual. I've not seen a colour like this from any other any other brand. So, yes, they've been spoken about for ages from loads of people, but there is with really good reason. They are spectacular, and I love them. The last two makeup -y bits now. Um, the Well, one's high-end and one's sort of middle of the range. One is the Body Shops bronzer in number one. 
the honey bronzer. As you can see, it's got this cute little honeycomb design on it. I'll pop a little bit on my finger and see if you can see. It's a really ashy colour, so it doesn't show up really orange on my skin. And I've been on the hunt for a bronzer that doesn't make you look like a tangerine for God knows how long. This is perfect. I think it's £12. Um, of course, I got the recommendation from Essie Button, who is my goddess. I wish I was her. And I just think it's brilliant. It's just really great. And I really want to try some more things from the body shop, um, their beauty range, because I love their body products, so it makes sense, really. Um, and the last thing, again, I picked up when I was in York, if you want to go see my haul, is the much coveted MAC Stereo Rose, which is a mineralised skin finish that looks like this. First off, it is bloody beautiful. I mean, you can't, you can't argue that, really. It comes off like this on the skin, so I'm wearing it on my cheeks. It is kind of more brown than you think it is, like a brownie orangey colour I would describe it as. Um, but it is gorgeous. I don't really think it was worth the money though, to be honest with you. I do think it is amazing, but I think the skin finishes are ridiculously priced. So I probably wouldn't buy it again. But with it being a limited edition, everybody wants it. I was like, I've got to, I know, I've just got to. So that was my um, cosmetic favourites this fur at the minute. I have a couple of sort of like body things to show you um, and then some random bits and bobs that I've just really liked basically. One is this perfume which you can't even see the name of anymore because I've had it for so long. It's Zara's Fruity. I'm just going to spray a little bit on me now. Oh Jesus, it just smells so beautiful. This is my perfect spring friend. It's my perfect spring scent. It is fruity, it's sweet. It's a little bit florally, but not too much. It's got a bit of a musky scent, I think, as well. And um, these bottles are 9.99 in Zara. You get 100 mils. And compared to normal perfumes, I think that really this is just perfect value for money. I've had this for over a year, and I'm just getting to the bottom now. Um, and I just think it's perfect. It's light. It's not too, like, <laughs> wow, great description. And it just it's just perfect for spring. I really do love it and I think for the price I just think it's top notch. Next thing is something I was surprised about that I liked which was the Tresemme Instant Refresh Translucent Dry Shampoo um, and I've been wearing this on like two to three days after sh like washing my hair because I don't try not to wash my hair as much as possible you can see my roots are horrific at the minute and that's the reason why because red shampoo is it red shampoo red hair just seems to go and then it's all gone so uh, this has been my savior I also think that this provides a lot of volume and the fact that it's translucent is great because it doesn't show up like the Batiste stuff I really hated because it was so chalky showed up in your hair uh, the only th reason that I love the Batiste one was the tropical one is the most lovely smelling thing ever however this does smell quite nice so i can't quite put my finger on what of it kind of smells like hairspray but um like fruity fruitier um this has great hold as well and i just think it's brilliant i think that's about 4.49 so you know it's a little expensive but i got it on offer i think so you could probably pick that up on offer and the last thing is this Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water, which again, everyone and their mother have been talking about. I'm just about to run out of this now. Uh, it's 400 millilitres and it's so much better than the L'Oreal one. I've never tried bi Bioderma. Apparently it's very similar to Bioderma. Bioderma. Been using this to take off my makeup and just if I need a refresh in the morning, I just like to, you know, put this on my face. Um... I just think this is really perfect for taking off my makeup, it doesn't sting my eyes and it's great value for money so that would be my last recommendation in terms of body stuff. Is to just lightly wet the um, eyeshadow brush and apply the same foundation on the eye wet because that creates a glossier sort of more metallic look. So I'm just going to run that over where I was before.